Hi, I'm Matt Shade, and I'm a certified athletic trainer here at Performance Spine and Sports Medicine. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, basketball athletes and knee injuries. At the start of the 2011 NBA season, 32 players will be missing playing time due to an injury. Of those 32 players, 11 of them are suffering from a knee injury, and this is the highest percentage of all injuries. So we have to look at why are knee injuries so prevalent in basketball. And really it comes down to the demands of the sport. You have cutting, pivoting, jumping, sprinting to stopping, and contact in basketball. All of these motions take place in a confined area on a small court with 10 players. And it's a lot of explosive movements. As you can see on this diagram, when you're running, stress has to start in the foot it's coming up to the knee and then it has to get out of the knee. And if there's any muscle imbalance in the kinetic chain of an athlete, they are at higher risk of a knee injury. So the way injuries can happen uh, for basketball players, you can have a traumatic incident where you cl collide with another player, someone falls on the um, other person's knee and it causes like an ACL tear. You also have the non-contact traumatic injuries, which is usually a pivoting motion where the athlete puts out their foot, it's planted, and they go and twist on it. And the last is overuse. Um, you know, basketball, you're training every day of the week, playing multiple games a week, and sometimes you can get tendonitis in the knee. Looking at the basic anatomy of the knee, you have your thigh bone or your femur. You have your muscles of the thigh bone, which are the quadriceps, hamstrings and the IT band. In the lower leg, you have your tibia and fibula, as well as your gastrocnemius and calf, uh, which comes up and attaches there behind the knee. You also have your kneecap, which is the patella, and the patellar tendon, which is really the quadricep muscle coming down, forming a real thick tendon that comes over top of the knee. For muscle tendon injuries, uh, you can get patellar tendonitis, which is inflammation of the tendon in the front of the knee, IT band syndrome, which is on the outside of the knee, hamstring tendonitis as well. If you're looking at the meniscus and the ligament structures of the knee, um, the meniscus is the cartilage that lines the top of the tibia bone, and you also have your ACL, which keeps the thigh bone and the tibia in line and prevents any type of anterior translation of the tibia on the femur. You also have your MCL, medial collateral ligament, and your LCL. Uh, common injuries, you have your ACL sprain or tear. This is usually caused when changing dire direction rapidly, slowing down and or landing after jumping. As you can see in this picture here, athlete comes down and lands and if you follow this knee, it just completely buckles. That's the ACL giving out on that. The MCL is another common ligament that basketball players suffer injury from. And with this, again, you come down for a rebound, an opponent trips or falls over you, and they land on the outside of your knee, putting a, what we call a valgus stress, and that puts a strain on the inside part of the knee. Treatment of injuries. The first um, most important thing that you can do is see a physician for a diagnosis and appropriate treatment plan. But sometimes, you know, you get injured on the court, you can't see a physician right away. What you want to do is you want to put um, some ice on it, get a compression wrap, just try to lay off of it. If you're unable to bear weight, you also want to protect that knee from any further injuries. So you may want to use crutches or if you have a knee immobilizer, um, apply that. So first thing you'll do is see an orthopedic physician. This is Dr. Kevin Shu at our Newtown office. And then once you see a physician, they'll see you up on appropriate physical therapy program. This is, again, working the muscles, creating a balance, not just at the knee, but from the core all the way down to your foot and ankle. And then to get back to play, you want to see an athletic trainer here at Performance Spine and Sports Medicine where we're going to take you to the next level. We're going to put you through a full uh, biomechanical analysis using sensor technology and we're going to see if there's any muscle imbalances so we can either A, help enhance your performance and B, hopefully prevent further injury. 
Now, in prevention of injuries, you want to look at, um, I consider it a triangle. Your core is the most important part. Um, so you want to have a good core strength. You also want to focus on flexibility and balance. Um, I put these at the base because for any athlete, but specifically basketball athletes, you need to be very flexible and balanced uh, to prevent injury. And then at the top, this is where you take your game to the next level. Uh, you work on speed, agility, and strength. So for a year-round training program, you can actually come in to perform a spine and sports medicine where we will first take a look at your biomechanics and then we'll set you up on a core strengthening program. These are just a few good exercises for basketball athletes. Um, just doing some planks, uh, physio ball. This is a great exercise because you can actually work hamstrings by curling the ball underneath of you and back out. You can also work your upper body and go into a push-up. The whole time you're working your abs, you're working your glutes. And then the wood chopper. Uh, it's a great explosive exercise that works on the full body. Stretching. Um, stretching is key for basketball athletes. You have to think about the position again that you play most of your game in and it's in that athletic stance shifting side to side front to back so the muscles are being used within a small parameter they're not going through their full range during a game. So a lot of static stretching uh, especially after activity. It's been shown that before warm-up you want to increase your blood flow using a dynamic warm-up but afterwards when your muscles are nice and loose that's when you want to give yourself additional time to stretch because that's when your muscles are going to really adapt to the stretch. And then these again are just some other upper body stretches that you want to focus on. Balance. Um, balance is crucial. When you look at basketball, you're coming down from rebounds, you're jumping, shooting. A lot of times you're not, both feet aren't planted on the ground at the same time. So there's numerous balance exercises that we can do. Um, a lot of single leg stances and then we uh, provide like an air mat or a BOSU ball and have you go through some basketball motions while trying to maintain balance on a uh, single leg. And then the final is strength, speed, and agility. Um, here we'll do a series of box jumps, lunges, and agility training, shuffling side to side, and that's going to help you take your game to the next level. So thank you and I wish you the best of luck in your upcoming seasons.